वेलकम टू वैदिक एस्ट्रोनॉमी इनिशिएशन एंड एक्सपोजर क्लासेस टुडे आवर फोकस इज गोइंग टू बी अपॉन पार्ट टू ऑफ श्लोका वन ऑफ लग्न ज्योतिष वेदांगा पार्ट टू ऑफ श्लोका वन ऑफ ज्योतिष वेदांगा इज अवेलिंग एट फार्मुलेशंस दीज फार्मुलेशंस आर दिन ऑफ टी सी वैल्यू सेवनटीन ऋतु of tc value 11 ion of tc value 12 mass of tc value 15 angam of tc value 19 pranamaya of tc value 26 sir of tc value 9 and suchi of tc value 22 let us open a new page and let us try to reach at the geometric formats parallel to these transcendental code values of these eight formula these eight values we know value 22 is equal to 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 which is a four fold manifestation layer of hypercube 6 the representative regular body of six space as such suchi means pavitra means sublime means the pure state so the purest state of this existence phenomenon of our solar universe as it is of the format of hypercube 6 let us make a note suchi accepts simple rendering as pavitra means pure and sublime value 22 accepts organization as 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 parallel to it is four fold manifestation layer of hypercube 6 a representative regular body of six space as such this format these values these features this organization as it is ultimately taking us to the format of hypercube 6 the representative regular body of a six space as such the existence phenomenon of our solar universe as is being chased by lagda jyotish vedanga is a sun surya six space in a static state and it is enveloped we know by a by a transcendental boundary of a transcendental content further we know that six space is accepting four space as dimension and we know four space is having nine geometries range so let us make a note that say the head as such is of the values of the format of nine geometries range of four space four space is play the role of dimension of six space and four space is accepting nine versions for hypercube 4 and these nine versions are parallel to nine geometries of a four space further five space is play the role of a boundary now we know that the value 26 as it is is accepting an organization 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 means 26 value is accepting a organization 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 of hypercube 7 and further we know this four fold manifestation layer is of at hypercube 7 the representative regular body of seven space means of a pole star means of a throw therefore it is of a pole star for which is going to be this field and this existence phenomenon reach further value 19 we know is the value of the southern hemisphere therefore southern hemisphere is 19 and 19 we know is of the organization 2 into 9 plus 1 means 19 geometries range of hypercube 9 the representative regular body of 9 space with seven space in the row therefore let us have a pause let us sequentially reach how we are actually step by step very gently and sequentially are reaching at these values and parallel to it the geometric formats of these formulations of these values now value 15 we know is the value equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 which is a transcendence range it is a transcendence range of a sthapatya mirroring rod of five space therefore the transcendental domain 
the five space as a transcendental boundary of six space. So here five space is playing the role, but this five space is accepting a stopathe marrying role of synthetic setup of hypercubes one to five. Further, we know value 15 is equal to one into three into five, which is parallel to the value of the solid dimensional frame of five dimensions. Still further, we know that value 12 is equal to a raised to power 6 is to 12 b raised to power 5. That is the transcendental boundary. The transcendental boundary is a setup of 12 components. Value 11 we know equal to the 11 geometry is a range of hypercube 5. So hypercube 5 is of 11 versions and these versions are the representative regular bodies of representative regular body the five space and value 17 is the value of the northern hemisphere therefore from northern hemisphere as a day mean the light is going to be initially mired being chased being availed being worked out as is being of a reach in the northern hemisphere full light reaching the northern hemisphere as such is making a day. So these features as these are deserve to be comprehended well. Let us tabulate these features. These features as the formulations and as simple rendering and then there are TCV values and then reaching at the geometric formats. So these steps of reaching at formulations the simple rendering meanings, then reaching at TCV values, and then reaching at the, the geometric formats. Once we are face to face with this happening, this reach, these values, these features, these will ultimately help us reach at the format beneath. This format beneath is to be reached at by having a sequential chase as formulations, but the more intimate, more gentle reach is going to be, let us reach syllable wise. We know first syllable is D. It is a, of a pair of letters and these are accepting value 6 plus 2, total making it 8 and so 8 is the value reach. The second syllable is now of a pair of letters of values 8 and 1, making it 9 and summation value comes to be 17. Like that, let us reach at the complete set of the complete reach let us have of the complete 17 syllables. There are 17 syllables of this particular text. There are 8 formulations but there are 17, there are 17 syllables. 8 and 17 we know are interrelated as H8 hypercube 8 is having 17 versions and parallel to 7 geometries range of 8 space. These features deserve to be tabulated. Let us enlist each of these features specifically. Therefore, in these 17 steps, we will be reaching at these 17 syllables. These 17 syllables will help us reach at their TCV values and these TCV values will help us reach at the total TC values of the entire range and this range is going to be of value 141. It is this feature which deserves to be comprehended well. Now parallel to it when we will see the tabulation of the 16 syllables reach of part 1 of the text of Shiloka 1 then we know these 16 syllables of the text of part 1 of Shloka 1 of the Lagda Jyotish Vedanga, these will ultimately lead us to the TC values 138. Let us have a pause and take note that 141 and 138 leads us to the value 279. Further we know in these syllables it is here the Kaksh, this Kasha is a letter of Ka and Sha. As such, this letter Ka 
is available here. We are at present taking its value 1 and a 6. However, cost shift means the transcendental domain will help us reach at its value 5. And it is this value 5 which will lead to the 4 additional value. When this additional value would be added to it, then we know it will reach us 283. A wonderful. It is equal to the total number of letters of 16 Ganita Sutras. Let us make a specific note and let us visit this sequentially. Firstly, as 16 steps of the 16 syllables of the text of part 1 of Shiloka 1 of Lag Jyotish Vedanga with a focus upon this 12th syllable which is a wailing letter Ka and this Ka we know is having a shape will get value 5 so we, there will be availability of additional value 4 so this value 138 in fact will become 142 this value 142 and this value 141 together will give us a value 283 let us make a note let us have a pause let us visit these features let us have both these tables to be worked out simultaneously and by having these 33 chase steps by these 33 chase steps we will be having a reach at a value 283 transcendental code value will be emerging 283 and this value 283 we know is parallel to the 283 letters of the letters of the text of 16 Ganita Sutras. It is one of the basic features. It firstly helps us reach at the mathematics which is beneath this particular format and secondly it will also help us appreciate as to how the Ganita Sutras are the sutras of Vedic systems which work out the Vedic astronomy. So both ways write down a note that the format of the shloka 1 of Lagda Jyotish Vedanga takes us and expects a mathematics of the Ganita Sutras. Ganita Sutras mathematics is the mathematics which is being availed by the format of the text of shloka 1. Further, the Ganita Sutras as such will being of potentialities and features that these will work out the entire superstructure, entire features of Vedic astronomy and with it, it will be very very blissful to be face to face with as that the Ganita Sutras are the Vedic Sutras. So these are the two distinct features but both are complementary and supplementary features. Now let us go a step ahead. We know that the eight directional frame means when we say Ved Vrit means when we are working upon a circle or when we are working upon a arg, varg, or when we are working upon a two space or when we are availing a surface format and when we are working with a spatial order then it will be leading us to the eight directional frames means Pur East, Paschim West, Uttar North, Dakshin south then northeast southeast and the west north and the southeast so these are the eight directions these eight formulations pur paschim uttar dakshin ishan kon agni kon vaiva kon nairitya kon and the kendra with <coughs> 10 directional spring and the pair of dimensions vyas in pair is vyas in pair now these formulations as these are are the basic formulations let us open a new page in this page we draw this table in this table let us note down these formulations and then reach at their corresponding tcv values then ultimately reach at the total summation value reach it would be blissful that this is giving us a value 283 wonderful it is validation of both of Ganita Sutras being the Ganita Sutras and the format of the 
Lagda Jyotish Vedan being of the format as it is. Now here we can further have a concentration that Kendra is of formulation 23, it is equal 23. But here there are 10 directional frame. So 8 directional frame as it is at the center will leading us to a 10 directional frame. It is this value of 10 directional frame together with this Kendra. So these are the values, these are the features which deserves to be comprehended well and to be absorbed well. Once we are face to face with this particular phenomenon, once we are face to face with these values, features and format, then it will be desirable that the students of Vedic Mathematics, Sadhkas and Shell, have a concentration upon the basic enlightenment phenomenon. Lord Brahma, a forehead lord, is having a seat of a transcendental lord shape within the cavity of his heart and forehead lord meditates upon the transcendental lord and multiplies as ten brahmas. It is this phenomenon of the lotus seat. It is this seat of eight petals, means eight solids boundary component is transiting and transforming into ten creative components. It is this reach from value 8 to value 10. It is this reach which deserves to be comprehended well. It in a way, way would be that we have to have a transition from 8 directional frame to a 10 directional frame. It is this reach from 8 directional frame to 10 directional frame which is going to be the ultimate frame and it is with this reach that we will be having the complete exhaustive coverage of our solar universe. Therefore, from here, there is going to be transition from 4 space to a 5 space. That means we will be reaching here to a raised to power 5 is equal to 10 b raised to power 4, means to a transcendental domain. And we know this transcendental domain is playing the role of a transcendental boundary. Now it is 12 b raised to power 5 and it is a raised to power 6. It is this people, it is this transition from 5 space as a domain to 5 space as a boundary which deserves to be comprehended well. One shall sit comfortably and permit the transcending mind to follow the enlightenment path of the Lord Brahma and one shall meditate within the cavity of one's own heart and have the grace, transcendental grace and there, let there be a multiplication of Brahma as ten Brahmas. Once we are here, once we reach here, then playing these ten as a boundary. So this is creating a transcendental boundary of a self-referral domain. It is this reach which is the reach which deserves to be comprehended well. One shall be face to face with it and once one is face to face with it then one will be in a position to appreciate that Skand, Lord Skand, a six-head Lord is a son of a transcendental Lord shape. Within the cavity of heart of the Lord shape is the seat of a self referred Lord a six space. It is this phenomenon which is taking us to the sequential unfolding process of the formates. These sequential unfolding steps of the format deserve to be comprehended well. Now let us have a revisit, first visit, fresh visit, gentle visit, intimate visit to the formulation 283. Why this formulation 283 is very important? How this, what are the inherent features of this particular formulation? At first instance, three will lead us to a three-dimensional frame. At the next step, it will lead us to split of a three-space into eight octants. So we will be reaching from three-dimensional frame to eight octants. So it is a three-frame, and from where we will be reaching at eight octants. And once we are reaching at eight octants, then we know it would be a reach that the at the origin is the seat of a four-space, a hyper a a space at the origin is the space which is enveloped by a solid boundary of eight components and it being a special space as such it will be leading to 
true space in the role of a dimension. It is this reach, it is this valley which deserves to be comprehended well as a format of the formulation 283. Why formulation 83 is very important? It is in fact the basic value of the Vedic systems. Vedic systems are availing this format very exhaustively, intimately. Further, let us go to Sapteshwar Upanishad, the, the light Upanishad. Now, it is taking us to that these quadruple values, 1, 2, 3, 8, when are followed sequentially, then it leads us to complete enlightenment. Let us see, we normally should have 1, 2, 3 and a 4. However, this value 1, 2 and 3 is taking us to 1 into 1, 1 into 2, 1 into 3, then it is going to be 2 into 4. It is this transition that from the first three linear dimension at the next step we are reaching at the higher dimension. This feature as it is a feature which will help us appreciate that we know we will be working in Vedic system. One is means ache is being worked out as eight. The TC value of ache is eight. Now it is this reach. It is this reach means when we are on a cyclic format, then we will be seeing that we will be reaching at value two, three, and eight. But in the opposite orientation, it will be taking us to two, eight, and three. It is this formulation of a opposite orientation. So it is this opposite orientation working. It is parallel to that when we know one space is having a role of a domain, then we know minus space is having a role of a dimension. So the reversal of orientation is in fact is a very big step. It is a step which in fact is taking us from domain to a dimension. And the difference value of these two is two. It is this difference value of two which deserves to be comprehended well. If we are face to face with these features, then let us have a revisit to the setup of a cube. Cube is a raised to power three is to six b square. So we know the boundary is a spatial, means two space is playing the role of a boundary and three space is playing the role of a domain. But how these two remain intact and how these get segregated? It is this feature which deserves to be comprehended well. It is there because here there is a four space content. It is this value of four space content which will be helping us to reach at a dimensional frame of quadrupedal spatial dimensions. It is this feature, it is this value that how the surface boundary stands integrated with a common existence phenomenon with a three space as a domain, two space as a boundary and this integrated phenomenon is happening because of the creative mass. It is a creative, it, this is this dravay. Now it is this feature which is to be comprehended well. Once we will be face to face with this feature as to how it is because of the creative content, the four space content, the four space reality playing its role to have an integration for the domain and the boundary. It is this integration phenomenon and further it is this phenomenon of splitting of the two. So how the domain as a three space content and a boundary as a two space content. These are different space contents. It is a two space content and it is a three space content. How these two get integrated? These get integrated, it is like this, that if we are having points set along a line, then these discrete points, infinitely many, will be carried without any disturbance of structures with the motion of a line. Likewise, the infinite lines upon a plate, a match box is infinite match sticks upon a plate, when the plate may carry all these infinite discrete points without disturbance of there. So it is here that it is the four space, four space domain which will be successfully carrying the surface and the solid. 
it is this intact feature it is this feature which deserves to be comprehended well once we are in a position to have an appreciation once we are in a position to imbibe these features then we can see that really we are appreciating the format of the shloka one now part two of the shloka as such is to be taken as the applied superstructure and part one is to be taken to be a pure foundation so part one is the pure foundation of the format and part two is the applied superstructure therefore for complete comprehension and for full imbibing of the features values and format of the lagda jyotish vedanga as is preserved and as is being availed in shloka 1 the same is to be comprehended well one shall sit comfortably and one shall be face to face with it once we will be face to face with it and once we will be absorbing all these values features and format then really we can say that we are we are absorbing the basic values features and format of the vedic astronomy as it is upon this foundation as it is upon these features that the vedic astronomy is going to give us the applied values processing steps like as are available and reached in a surya siddhanta and other scriptures so siddhantas is 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 a literature which is giving us a final settlement of the values of the solar universe this solar universe values will help us be face to face with the existence phenomenon of the solar universe itself and also within a solar universe particularly of human body and existence within a human body therefore all applied values and all pure values are ultimately unified in the vedic systems it is this feature it is this achievement of the vedic system which deserves to be comprehended well therefore <coughs> sadhakas shall initiate themselves again have a fresh visit to devanagari alphabet letters then reach at the transcendental code values thereafter one shall reach at the maheshwara sutras as we have said the maheshwara sutras transcendental code value is also taking us to the value 282 so when this 282 value is being put in <coughs> linear order and cyclic order straight way it gives give us give it 283 so gadita sutras are the start with the sutras these are the ultimate sutras gadita sutras mathematics is the end reach mathematics of the vedic systems and where gadita sutras are the beginning start with mathematics of the vedic systems so devanagari alphabet is the beginning as well as the end meshwara sutras are the beginning as well as the end and likewise the gadita sutras are beginning as well as the end and then the lagda jyotish vedanga in its values features and format of shloka 1 is the beginning as well as the end reach these eight directional format how at the center at the kendra there is an evolution of a transition and transformation for a directional frame into a 10 directional frame and it is again going to be parallel to the enlightenment as the sadhakas when follow the enlightenment path of lord brahma they meditate within cavity of one's own heart and there happens to be a transcendence of a transcendental grace and there is a multiplication of one brahma into a 10 brahmas all these features are unifying features all these features are complementing and supplementing each other therefore we shall visit again let us have a fresh visit to all these features so that in terms thereof we may be in a position to have a further progress in the values features and features of the lagda jyotish vedanga and thereafter of the vedic astronomy itself thank you very much